Hi, this is Barry Russo with Panasonic Connect. Today I'm gonna talk about the 8K PLV100 and a little bit about the history of this camera and why we designed it. First of all, it is a cinematic studio camera. The cinema cameras that we use today are like our very cams in live productions, which is quite popular, as you know. There's lots of parts and pieces, lots of cables. So how do we make it easier and more reliable? So one of the things we did is we took that Vericam technology and put it inside of our studio form factor. We've been making studio cameras for a long time. It's a well-established, easy workflow. It's basically plug and play. Starting in the front, we put on a PL mount with a Super 35 sensor. That is a 5.7K dual native sensor. The dual native will be active in the fall. Right now it's 800, but we're, gonna, we're expecting to have 800 and targeted 2500. We have servo ND filters. That's controlled remotely, or you can do it locally at the camera head by pressing the button. The camera can be powered locally through a little door opens here, and we can do uh, CCU powered, meaning it's gonna go through a fiber cable, a hybrid fiber cable, and power it off one, all on one cable, or we can power the camera locally. So right here, I have a four pin XLR, which has an input range of 11 to 17 volts, just like our camcorders. Also notice three connectors here. We have an auxiliary connector, which can be used for HD trunk, for example. We have a 3G and we have a 12G right out of the camera head. In addition, we have a LAN connector so I can control the camera with the ROP, the remote operation panel, over a LAN network, shall I decide to do so. I can also do it with the CCU and the serial cable, but for uh, flexibility, we also have the LAN option. This is our fiber connector that can swing. Also in the back here, you can see this is our viewfinder connector. That's for the big nine inch or seven inch onboard viewfinder. It just slides in. All the connections are made. There's no cables. It's literally plug and play. You plug it in, it turns on and you're, you're good to go. And that's also hot swappable. The intercom. So you can plug in your headset and then you have your control for program one and program two. Um, push to talk, you know, all the traditional comm features. So comm is built into the camera. Also, we have a tally light here. The tally light is also built into the camera. In addition to the rear tally light that you can turn on or off, we actually have on our viewfinders. This is big white box here is a tally. Uh, we have green tally, we have red tally, and also the onboard viewfinder is an option. It also has a tally light, high or low. This is also plug and play. So we just slide it onto the mount here. We just slide it on, it can go in and out. And then we can just plug in our uh, multi-pin port here and we're good to go. So not lots of cables here. It's all elegant. It's all plug and play. It's all streamlined. So basically all that wonderful Vericam technology is inside of this new form factor. The PLV100 has multiple control options. Here are two. This is the AK HRP 1010. This is also a touch panel. It's very easy to operate and very powerful. It even has a network search, so it can actually find cameras on a network and allow you to assign a camera and connect to them. So that's very nice. And we also have a smaller, a lighter, more cost-effective version called the AK HRP 250. You know, similar controls, not as many bells and whistles, but certainly a, a more cost-effective, simpler version of this. Both of these devices are powered by PoE, or they can be connected via a serial cable. But this is a simple 10-pin to 10-pin uh, Hiroshi, and that will power it, and it's, that makes it actually plug-and-play operation. I also talked about that fiber uh, connectivity. So uh, this is a short fiber cable. Um, th these come in, obviously, uh, very long lengths. So uh, power, video, all communication, all on one elegant cable, and that will plug into the CCU. Now we have a choice of two. One CCU on top here is a more cost-effective model. It's the AK-HCU250, and that uh, is an HD only model, which will limit the camera to HD. So if you only work in HD, you can save some money and just work in HD. However, we do offer a, a 4K option board, which will give us a 12G or 6G output, depending on your system frequency. And this is limited to 1.2 kilometers. The bottom unit is the AKUCU600. That's the, the cream of the crop. That's a very powerful power supply in here. That allows us to go two kilometers on that hybrid fiber cable. So that's really powerful. That also offers an option for SFP for SMPTE 2110 right out of the CCU. So that's just another option that's offered. And just both of these offer a lot of flexibility and ease of operation. You don't have to run batteries or power the unit locally. It does all that, but you do have the option to do that. We talked about the cinematic workflow, cinematic live. A lot of times we want to use cinematic style lenses. Here I'm showing a, a camera, a cinematic lens with traditional broadcast controls to it, a nice, nice hybrid, which gives us our beautiful rear lens controls for both focus and for zoom control. Some models even have a local iris control. Very elegant, very easy to use, and, and just simple plug and play. 
basically drop right into your cinematic productions. That's it, that's pretty much a summary of the camera, why we designed it, and um, please use this camera, please try it. Thank you very much.